hello everyone welcome back to our channel today we are going to explore uh, komodo ide from uh, active state for development and uh, debugging of tcl scripts of open source before we dive into today's tutorial i want to take a moment to thank all our fantastic subscribers your support is the reason for us to keep bringing you valuable content in a timely manner however at present 80% of the viewers have not subscribed yet i request you to consider hitting the subscribe button it's a small action but that goes a long way in encouraging us to create more tutorials let's start our today's tutorial this tutorial is mainly divided into three steps in the first step uh, we will show you how to download uh, the komodo ide from the active state website and uh, install it in your uh, local computer windows machine and in the second step we will show you how to integrate the downloaded opensys.exe file with komodo ide that just installed in your uh, machine in the third step we will show you how to debug tcl scripts of opensys in komodo ide let's get started with the download and uh, installation of komodo ide type komodo ide by active state in google search bar so click the first link and uh, here you can see like uh, download komodo ide from uh, github click it here you see the releases click it this is our uh, komodo ide 12.0.191869 msi just uh, click it it will be downloaded so download somewhere in your machine so i have already downloaded it so hence i am not going to download this now just double click um, the downloaded komodo ide installation setup file then click next 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 there is nothing complex here in this installation you can just uh, proceed with uh, next and all so since i have already installed uh, i am seeing this modify remove so you won't see this if you are installing for the first time so i am cancelling it after installation yes i am cancelling this after installation you will see a icon on uh, your desktop just uh, double click it you will see an id like this when you open the komodo id for the first time you will be asked to log in using uh, active state account credentials if you do not have an account create a free account now using the link provided in the sign in form in komodo id and use those credentials to log in so to run uh, opensys in this komodo id we have one prerequisite that is installation of tcl you can do that by downloading the tcl from active tcl so what you have to do is you have to just uh, type tcl install in uh, google and you will get a link to download and install tcl after clicking this you will be redirected to a website this one here uh, you have to click this one active tcl 8.6 continue to download the tcl without an account it will take some time but uh, eventually it will show a page like this here you have to download and install this uh, download.msi file if you are using windows 10 or any higher versions uh, that's it after uh, installing the active tcl this uh, komodo id will automatically fetch up the installed version of the active tcl so you no need to specially configure the tcl with this komodo id that's it next you have to download this uh, opensys.exe file i hope everybody who is using opensys uh, most probably know where to download that file open sys download so here uh, opensys user download here give your email and uh, download this uh, opensys.exe file that is compatible to run on windows machines after downloading you will receive a zip file i have unzipped the downloaded opensys file and uh, inside it you will see contents like this bin directory and uh, lib directory like this so inside this bin directory you will see this uh, opensys.exe file this one we are going to give this location to the komodo id so here click the alt button then click the edit and in the bottom you will see an option showing preferences click it it opens up like this now you have to go to a section called uh, languages within that you have to select tcl and once you click it an option showing like this here 
you will be asked to give uh, the wish interpreter or uh, tcl sh interpreter we are going to use uh, the opensys.exe file so hence uh, we are using this uh, tcl sh interpreter so you have to give the location of this uh, downloaded uh, .exe file to this so here i placed it here bin and this one so you have to select the file and click open that's it click ok now we have successfully configured uh, our opensys.exe file with komodo id next next is opening and uh, running some opensys script files in this opensys uh, so click the settings button and uh, open this uh, open directory option and then you have to go to the location where your tcl files are uh, located in so my tcl files are located in this uh, t3 test directory i am selecting that directory so Komodo would like to scan 195 files in one directory so that it can provide accurate intelligence. So this is some option. So it automatically popped up. Uh, currently, I don't want it present. So hence I'm canceling it. So I'm first uh, starting with this OpenSys 1B example that is uh, pushover analysis of a portal frame. So here uh, I have this input file. So I just double clicked it. This is our uh, input file. This is simply downloaded from the OpenSys examples website. I have not made any changes to this. Just I'm making this windows a little bigger. Now run this uh, input file by pressing this play button. Here you have to select this uh, use default TCL SH interpreter and then click OK. That's it. It is showing analysis has done. The same is uh, written at the end. So if the analysis is successful, it is recommended to print done here. So here, for example, if you want to debug some information about uh, the variables that we are passing in, we can put a breakpoint wherever we want and then press this play button, press OK. It will stop at that point and uh, it will show you the information that is available until that point. So I'm just uh, minimizing this a little. Here in this example, we have defined all the nodes element information directly without using any variables. Of course, these opens his uh, commands, mass, fix, node, etc. These are all uh, the things that are available in the .exe file. We cannot go into them, but we can always debug what information we are passing to them. For example, if you are defining the nodal coordinate, we can make sure like whether we are passing the right coordinates or not. If you are sending the mass, we can make sure that uh, whether we are sending the right mass or not. Here, we are sending the direct value. Here, we don't have any problem. But when you are sending this mass via a variable, then it will tell you what is there in that variable. So after this uh, file is run, so just uh, click it once more so it will be run and uh, you will see it done here so this is the data that is uh, generated from this uh, tcl file so click out this d free this is a free this is the displacement at the top free node yeah like this so just like we do source file name dot tcl and run every file like this we can also do the same from this komodo id i feel this is more uh, advantageous as you can develop and debug at the same time if you use the normal uh, command window so development you have to do in some text editor and uh, once the development is done you have to run or execute the developer tcl file in the command window so that is good for the experienced users but uh, when you are starting out your new development i recommend uh, using this komodo id it is helpful for you to develop and debug at the same time next let's run this uh, opensys uh, example 7 so this is a pushover analysis of an rc frame so here i am opening this uh, rc section I'm just uh, closing these two files so here we have a definition of pushover analysis three dimensional frame rc frame with the diaphragms and here in this file it is defined up to gravity analysis so if the analysis is successful you will see 
outputs model built if the analysis fails then you will see an error here also i didn't modify anything just i turned off this uh, display model function file that's it and apart from that everything is same as downloaded from the website so just uh, i am running this file select this tclsh interpreter press ok make this a little big so this is our open source information and uh, here we see the number of stories 3 number of base in x1 number of base in z as one and uh, model built so this one is printed here so that's it our uh, analysis is gravity analysis is successful but if you want to debug debug in the sense uh, here we are setting up all the nodal information element information uh, section information via variables so let's see whether we are passing uh, what kind of information to these variables i am putting a breakpoint here and i am just uh, running this play button i am just selecting this tclsh as my main interpreter so it stopped here just uh, put your cursor on any variable so x1 is 0 y1 is 0 z1 is 0 so x2 is 240 y1 is uh, 0 y z1 is 0 so you can see your variables like this and also you can see all your variables here x1 x2 y1 y2 y3 y4 z1 z2 like this and uh, the other information like uh, pi psf psi these things we have defined in our uh, libunits file so here pcf psf this information also we can see here actually because we have imported that file at the start so since that since we have imported so that information is also available in this file and then we have this build rc grid section here we build um, the section so we can go step by step using this uh, buttons so this is a step over button this is a step into button and uh, this is a step out button let's see whether we can move into our uh, build section procedure or not so we have our uh, build rc section procedure here i am putting a breakpoint here and then pressing this continue button so exactly it stopped at uh, this build rc grid section and i am pressing this step into button so i am expected to move into this uh, build rc grid section now i'll do a step over so you can see the values of core y core z core y core z like this but this section is a open source command i don't think we can go into it yes we are not allowed to go into it however you can debug all of your uh, tcl code excluding your open source commands likewise you can go what is the section torsion you can see as 70 its id and the value of u big u big is showing as an undefined variable here because we have not defined this uh, u big in this file so that's why you are not uh, seeing this when you put your cursor here but however the u big is available in a libunits file and that you have already imported so you must be able to see it in this uh, debugger uh, variable viewer so here is your u big and u small yes likewise you can see all of your files i'm opening this static analysis file i'm just uh, closing this uh, debugger so this is our uh, static analysis file so the static analysis file when you download it from the internet uh, from the open source examples website so it is a standalone file so means you first have to run the gravity analysis file then you have to run uh, the cyclic analysis file but i have just uh, write the a command like this source ex7 frame 3d build rcsec.tcl so it will basically run the gravity analysis file first and then it will run the remaining cyclic analysis content after that so i am putting a i am putting a breakpoint here and then i am running it i am just selecting this uh, tclsh interpreter so since i put a breakpoint on this model file it stopped here because we imported that file here so i am just removing the breakpoint in the gravity analysis file we have one more breakpoint that is also i am removing and then uh, we are proceeding here we are proceeding uh, up to this uh, id max 
So let's see what this IDMAX contains. So IDMAX is a list. It has five values. You can see the same in this uh, variable viewer as well. So here is your IDMAX. So likewise, you can debug all the TCL information in this Komodo IDE. You can directly develop your OpenSys application in TCL directly like this. As you all know, we have OpenSys Python version as well. But if I go into the history of OpenSys, OpenSys was first uh, originally developed and uh, published its first application in late 1990s with TCL as its main interpreter. And the first version of uh, OpenSys Python became available to users in the year 2018. So we have 28 years of uh, legacy content that was written in TCL. So if you are a new user who are just starting out with OpenSys, you may be asked to review the existing uh, TCL files since you don't know the TCL language and you don't know the OpenSys itself. So this using the OpenSys via this uh, Komodo IDE helps you a lot in understanding the architecture of uh, OpenSys, understanding the commands and uh, how to proceed with the debugging, etc. Because in Python, we have sophisticated uh, debugging tools in Spider IDE or PyCharm wherever you want. But in TCL, it's not like that. These are all the IDEs that are available for TCL in 2022. So of which many of these things are not uh, user friendly. We have only few IDEs that are uh, user friendly and uh, easily to start with, of which few of them are Komodo IDE and then this Eclipse. Eclipse is more general. It's a little bit difficult to start with. I prefer Komodo for uh, beginner users because it's easy to start with and uh, it has the basic necessary features like development editor and uh, debugger. So you can directly start with without any complex settings and configurations. That's it for this tutorial. See you in the next tutorial. If you have any questions or suggestions, we recommend you to please write them in the comment section below the video. If you like our content, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Happy learning. Thank you.